little bit. It's coming at you. Just run. Okay? Get away from it. Because it's... Make sure you look where you're going and get away from that, okay? Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. We're at Flight Fest 2024. Combat is happening. Take a look at this. Just take it all in. All those planes and stuff. And oh my gosh, what is that thing over there? Whoa! I know what that is. That's the giant spinny helicopter 15 foot diameter spinny thing that Nick Ream made. You may remember Nick Ream or Nicholas Ream from uh, last year. He's the one that made the tri-mode VTOL helicopter spinny drone. Everybody loved it. That thing was pretty small. I think it was like three feet in diameter. And all the comments on the videos were like, make it bigger. And that's pretty much what he did. It's a little bit different this time. I got to meet up with him and he's gonna talk us through the setup and uh, if you want all the details and see more of the flight footage and stuff, go check out his video on his YouTube channel. And uh, I'll have a link down in the description to that as well. Oh, you also notice on here that not only is there an RC with Adam sticker, there's also a PCBWay sticker because his build was sponsored by PCBWay, which is also the same sponsor for this video. PCBWay makes custom printed circuit boards. That's what PCB stands for. And they also offer rapid prototyping services. So whether you are trying to make an electronics project and you need thousands of options to choose from, and they can even uh, put all the components together on the board for you if you'd like, uh, or if you're doing a different type of prototyping project, they can do injection molding, sheet metal bending, CNC machining, 3D printing. He had PCB Way make him some uh, custom motor mounts out of metal that were bent and laser cut. And that is something that PCB Way offers. If that's interesting to you, check them out. I'll have a link down in the description below this video. But let's get back into the details of this build and see what Nick has brought to Flight Fest this year. Let's go. Yeah, so I mean, there's three motors per arm, uh, 730 kV motors from Emacs. Uh, they're spinning nine by six props. And uh, each blade right now has its own 5,000 success pack. So I, if I did my math correctly, I think it's something in the range of like 13, 14 kilowatts of power. Uh, I don't think I needed that much. It was like off the stand in like 30% yeah, throttle. Yeah. Definitely the power's there. I had some control, like this was kind of getting batted around in the wind. This is supposed to be stabilized, but it was pretty gusty up there. So I was kind of having to make some corrections to get him to face me. That's the, that's the front. Yeah, to get um, him to face you. Get me to face me, <laughs> eye to eye, like it's like a mirror. Um, but. Uh, so I do have like directional control, roll and pitch. It's like re-referenced to this. This, this doesn't spin presumably. So um, oh, okay. I was able to like give some roll and pitch control input and kind of have it pitch over because I, I was trying to get it going back to us. But uh, as soon as I pitched it over, the wind just said, nuh-uh, and pitched it back and it just, you know, it was just drifting. So eventually we, uh, you know, we're getting too far out there. So just for safety, I uh, started lowering it got it close to the ground and just gave it a little puff of uh, throttle to, to soften it and it seems like we uh, had a pretty nice landing. Is the, the whole system, the control system basically the same as the small one? Is yeah, it yeah there, I mean this shares a lot of like code that the small one does so all of like that spinny control, the sines and cosines, it's basically a flying unit circle if you know your trigonometry. Um, that's basically validated on the small one, plugged into the big one, I just did a little bit of testing in the backyard to, to make sure that roll is roll, pitch is pitch. Um, the only thing really different from the little one is the despun part. So on the little one I used, I used, Show me that? yeah. <clears throat> so this guy is on some gear motors in there. And those gear motors are trying to keep this from rotating as this spins underneath okay, it. Okay, so it's not free spinning? No. So and then I actually, I actually have this, the position of this mapped to my yaw stick. So I can yaw it around and that becomes like the, the front. So on the small one, I used LEDs to do that. I didn't have any mechanical thing. This one, it's the mechanical thing. So there's a bunch of gears inside there um, and a gyro and an encoder to actually pull it off. Okay. And then you've got this, like wood construction here. Like yeah, this is the uh, Home Depot special. The local helicopter supply store. Quarter inch plywood. Okay. I mean, it's probably overbuilt, but man, there's a lot of loads coming out off these blades, like the, the, the lift and the, the, the pitching. Uh, they need to be tied into this really really strongly so these are some one by threes these run all the way through this uh quarter inch plywood box and there's some pretty prints that kind of brace the structure inside there so it's, it's fixed pitch but because these blades are at such a high angle of attack they're actually like post stall 
So it's not, not optimal, it's not efficient, but okay. because they're at such high angle of attack, then there's a vertical component of thrust from the motors. So I can pulse the sets of motors around the rotation and that gives me little nudges, you know, up on this side, down on this side, and that gives me my roll and pitch. Wow, okay. So this one, unlike the small one, it won't be, it's not v is that correct? Yeah, no, these, this, these won't, these won't it come up, it won't fly like a quadcopter. This gotcha. is only spinning yeah. mode. And I got so many like hateful comments because <laughs> I accidentally said it looks like a TIE fighter and everybody was like, no, it looks like a, like a Lambda. Uh, Imperial shuttle. Come on, Darth Duh. Vader is frowning at you. Yeah, like, you must be a Trekkie, so. I don't know, this one probably looks like um, one of those transport shuttles. I'm thinking maybe like a land speeder or something. A land, yes. Yeah. This, looks, this is exactly like a land speeder, I would say. Um, <laughs> Darth Vader would probably ride. This is pretty advanced stuff, it seems anyway, but you make it look easy. It's so, like, what would you say to somebody who's like, man, I want to like figure out how to do that. Like, how do you, how do you get like started? So, I mean, this, I had no idea it was gonna work, so I kind of just broke it out into smaller problems and uh, tackled those problems and dealt with the integration of them. And uh, I think just, just set your mind to it and just, just it has to happen. Like, if you go in with that mi mindset, then it will happen. You had the smaller one, too. Yeah, the smaller one. Kind of proof of concept. Yeah, I wouldn't have done this without a, a little yeah. bit of confidence that, that would, it might work. That would be pretty insane. Yeah, so if you, so you want to see more of this stuff, you can check out my YouTube channel. Just my name, Nicholas Reem, R-E-H-M. Uh, and definitely watch some more of Adam's videos on his channel. He's got some awesome stuff. Thank you. Yes, he's got, Nick has more awesome stuff, more in-depth uh, stuff about this. Are you going to have in-depth videos on this one as well? Yep, full, okay. full build video, full flight video, all the testing I did to get this working. It's going to be up uh, hopefully at the same time as this video. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Cheers, man. Thanks for watching, everybody. Keep flying, keep creating, and I will see you again very soon.